Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. This is a, a quick verse that I was we were reading over because we're going to be going over some more of the books of Brother Shaul today. And as I'm reading this in the Sefer, again, we find that Dr. Stephen Pigeon has led the world astray. And either by his own hand or possibly an unclean spirit has influenced him into this. But there's either a quick replacement that he has done but he has sold his Sefer and the Sefer Millennium Edition. And for those of you out there who have a Sefer Millennium Edition, please check this out and see if Dr. Stephen Pigeon has completely gone to the dark side. Now, I understand that Dr. Stephen Pigeon is our elder and he deserves respect. But there's also something to be said when people are selling the word of our creator and they're causing more confusion than they are answering questions. Let's take a quick look at this. 2 Thessalonians 2.16 Now Yahuwah Yahusha Hamashiach himself and Elohim, even our Father, which has loved us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Let's take a look at the King and the NIV because it says Yahuwah Yahusha Hamashiach. Okay, and Nicole, do you have that in the um, Hallelujah Scriptures? One second, please. Yep. This is what it says right here in 2 Thessalonians. Let's look in the King. Now the Lord, and that is the wrong pro translation of it, Yahusha Hamashiach himself and Yah, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Now, does the NIV get this wrong? No, they got it right. May our Lord, wrong, wrong translation of Lord, should be all capital letters, Lord Yahusha Hamashiach himself and Yah, our Father, who loved us and by grace, by his grace, gave us eternal encouragement and good hope. Now, Nicole, what does it say in one of our favorite versions of all these translations, which is called the Hallelujah Scriptures, which they do not have a digital copy of? And for those who are wondering why I don't just give up on the Sefer, well, I paid what I consider good money for my Sefer, and I have sent hundreds of people over to get this. And it never used to say this kind of evil. They have changed this just recently and they have bamboozled all the people of Yah. And so not only am I calling out Dr. Stephen Pigeon and his Sefer Publishing Group, but I'm trying to get people so that we can put the pressure on Stephen Pigeon so that we can either get an answer is, has he gone to the dark side with his translations or is it just a uh, overzealous translator? Snow so Cole, what does yours say? It says, and our Adon, Yehoshua HaMashiach himself, and our Elohim and Father, who have loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good expectation through favor. Yes. So, Yahuwah and Yahusha are two separate entities. Now, it doesn't matter if you have an overzealous translator that did some great evil. If you are selling the word of Yah improperly, I see that as even a greater evil than simply selling the word of Yah. I don't believe the word of Yah should be sold. It should be given away. We should be, this is not something that be sold. The game needs to be told. It doesn't need to be sold. Thank you guys. Have a good day.